Welcome back citizens, we've already gone over some of the basics in my previous video and now we're going to take a look at some more advanced flight controls. Let's check it out. First let's talk about the two flight control modes, coupled and decoupled. Your ship automatically starts out in coupled mode as shown by the coupled indicator on the HUD. In coupled mode, the ship's speed and direction are essentially coupled to the nose of the ship. When turning, the ship will continue to move in the direction the nose is pointing. In decoupled mode, the ship is able to rotate freely without changing the direction of momentum. Decoupled mode also allows you to strafe side to side, forward and backward, and upward and downward. To go into decoupled mode, press the caps lock key. In decoupled mode, the flight controls are a bit different. A and D will strafe left and right. W and S will strafe forward and backward. And Q and E will strafe upward and downward. The mouse still controls pitch and yaw, though your pitch and yaw will have no bearing on the ship's direction of flight as you will continue in the direction you were heading in before going into decoupled mode. Directly below coupled on the HUD, you'll see G-Safe and Comstab. These are the two Intelligent Flight Control System, or IFCS for short, safety modes. G-Safe is a flight safety mode that attempts to keep you from blacking out or redding out by limiting movements that generate too many head-to-toe G-forces. I might go into greater nerdy detail on the two IFCS safety modes in later videos, but for now, all you need to know is that disabling G-Safe mode gives you greater control, but also a greater chance of blacking or redding out. You can disable G-Safe mode at any time by pressing down Control and Caps Lock simultaneously. Directly below G-Safe on the HUD, you'll find Comstab, which stands for Command Level Stability. When turning while moving at a high velocity, your ship will slide in the original direction a bit before evening out into the new direction. Comstab limits this by slowing the ship's velocity during extreme turns. So basically, disable Comstab for some hot space drifting action. You can disable Comstab by pressing Control and Caps Lock twice. Now let's talk a little bit about power management. You can essentially send power from your power plant to different parts of the ship to make them more effective. You can boost your shield, boost your weapons, or boost your avionics. To do this, press the F3 key to select the power tab. Then press the 7 key on your numeric keypad until you see the triangle at the top left of the HUD begin to blink. Then press the 5 key on your numeric keypad to lock in this selection. Now use the arrow keys on your numpad 2, 4, 8, and 6 to assign more power to the systems of your choosing. G1 is weapons, G2 is avionics, and G3 is shields. Change to any other tab by pressing F1 through F4 to lock in your selection. Now if you're just looking to boost your shields on the fly, there's a much quicker way to do this without having to go through all those menus and subsystems, and that is simply to hold the right control key and then press 2, 4, 6, or 8 depending on which shield you'd like to send more power to. Control 8, for instance, will boost power to your forward shields. Control 2 will boost power to your aft shields. Control 6 will boost power to your starboard shields. And Control 4 will boost power to your port side shields. It's not instantaneous at the press of a button. You will have to hold the key combination for a few seconds to fully boost the shield. For example, you'll have to hold Control 8 for a few seconds to fully boost your forward shield. Now let's end with a few little extra odds and ends. Pressing the comma key will tighten the focus of your radar orb. Scrolling the mouse wheel forward will zoom your view in a bit and can be really helpful when you've got your target right out in front of you and just need that extra bit of precision. Control F will change your mouse movement to relative mode. This locks the crosshair down in the center of the screen and ties your pitch and yaw controls directly to that center crosshair. It behaves a bit more like joystick controls and is good for more precise aiming when you've got your target right out in front of you. The space bar is essentially a space e-brake. You can briefly hold space to turn slightly faster and avoid blacking out. Hold the spacebar to throttle down and then release the spacebar to throttle back up to your previous speed. Space can also help you achieve missile lock, but remember not to hold the spacebar too long as you'll basically be a sitting duck while doing so. If you've watched this in my previous basic flight training video, you know most if not all of the controls now, but to find out how to best utilize these controls, check out my combat tactics video. Uh, if the link's not working, it's probably because I haven't put the video up yet. I haven't even made it yet as of the time of this audio recording. But that should be up soon, so click that link um, to learn more about how to effectively utilize these controls. And thanks for watching, citizens, and I'll see you in the verse.